Hello, peoples of the internet and other places. We're here playing Mario Maker, so... <coughs> okay. I'm somewhat sickly-ish. I don't know, okay. Oh, wait a second. Oh, just... Uh, event courses. Anyways, I'm gonna be showing off my levels. I don't really have that many. Uh, all the levels I've made were made, like, before the checkpoint patch, basically. I have a few that are, like, in the works, I guess. But, you know. Yeah, I have... Let's see. So, let's see. There's these... There's seven courses that are complete. This one was, like, kind of a work in progress that kind of failed. This is what I'm working on right now. I mean, you know, music courses. Let's just get into this. This is the very first course I made. Pit of Trials. Kind of referencing, you know, the hundred Pit of Trials from Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, and Super Paper Mario. So yeah, as you can see. <coughs> this is my very first course of cor course. Of course. Cor words! Uh, okay, okay, this is my very first course, of course. Anyways, it was made, uh, well, basically with the very default set of tools. So yeah, you got some coins, you know. There's a bit of a pit. Mind the gap. Uh, then there's the question blocks. I was, you know, everyone wanted to, was like, being, like, making troll levels. That's the first thing they did, just put, you know, enemies and item blocks, made giant enemies, made ridiculous stuff. I tried to make mine a legitimate kind of level. You know, I was, like, doing smart things, like, watch this. Like, I'd be like, oh, hey, look, a question mark block. And I'd make them think, like, oh, I'm going to hit it. And then <coughs> they'd expect, if it was a power-up, they'd expect, oh, a mushroom. So, whenever it's a mushroom, you hit it, and then you jump up to grab it. So you do that, and it'll, oh, and there's, a, you know, a prana plant. That was my thought process. Okay. You got some pipes, you know, prana plants. Simple stuff. And look at this. So, here we go. We have some Koopas. And you can hit these question mark blocks, right? You, that's what you do in... Some Mario games, you can do that, and you can get items, but instead, you have prana plants that shoot at you, and now you're jumping over shell and being shot at. So, it's like, oh crap, no, how'd I get in this predicament? So yeah, you got some, I really liked the flying prana plants, and how they just jumped up at you like that, I thought that was really cool, so I used them a lot, in a lot of my levels, so here we go. Just bounce on these guys, if you fall down, you actually, into those little pits that I'm standing over, you can fall, you can get back up, actually, I made it so that you can. Uh, you gotta jump over these guys. It's a bit cramped. You gotta hop over them. They bite at you. Here, you gotta make a leap of faith. <gasps> leap of faith and you have made it. Uh, so, then you gotta make sure... You gotta make this jump right over. And make sure that you don't walk off. You gotta jump to the flag because there's a pit and there were prana plants down there. <coughs> so that is the breadth of my first level. Or is it? For I thought it would be cool if I made a bottom path, as you can see on the little thing. <coughs> so, at the very beginning, one might think, you know, why is the why is the whole thing in the middle of the screen, right? This hole seems too deep. Well, you can go down it, and it's a secret path. Oh my god! Yeah, that that was really surprising, wasn't it? Anyways, you got like a little guy, and it's like, oh. None of these, none of the question mark blocks have items in them, I should also mention. And a little Koopa that'll really not do anything, actually. Never mind, he does come out, yeah. So yeah, now that you got this guy being annoying. And so here you go, this part, so... For some reason, one of them always gets stuck on that middle piranha plant. It actually kind of helps, I guess, you can bounce off of him. Like, little obstacles. This part, this bottom path might be harder, but it's shorter. So yeah, I like to see, look at this. I thought this was really cool that you could, like, make them pop out like that. And this one has a Koopa. Oh, a change of pace, I guess. And here, this part, you gotta jump over them like that. It's, I, I thought this part was really cool. <gasps> oh, okay. And then you get back here, and you can see that this is, it basically ends up at the same spot. You end up in the same spot, and then you gotta do this again, and, you know, get top of the flagpole. <coughs> so yeah, that's my level, first level, bit of trials. I'm honestly rather proud of it. 
I mean, it was at the time. I put a lot of thought into it, honestly. It isn't much, but yeah. So, the next two levels, these are just filler levels, because I was trying to unlock all the parts so I could fully, you know, explore my options. So, the, these next two are just, like, filler levels that I made just because I had to. I, did, I didn't realize about, like, that you could just, like, spam blocks and it would then give you... So, yeah, you got, like, little... Okay, cannons and stuff. So there's a ship. See, that's the flag right there. That's like, this is like the little wheel. The, I don't know. They spin. It's a giant shunk, uh, shipwrecked, sunken ship, I guess. Hence the le name's, the level level's name. Okay. Hence the level's name. You need this fire flower. This guy shoots right at the position of the fire flower, which I don't think was intentional. To break this stuff, you need the fire flower. Or at least a mushroom. Then you gotta, you know, kill some more prana plants. Just some enemies. Probably the, I don't know, people that were in the ship before it sunk. I don't know. Some bloopers. Gotta go. So, then you have this big incline. And you just want to go straight down. Don't ask questions. Because if you don't, if you hesitate, you're dead. You can make it through there without getting it. And then you got a little spike thing. Oh, gotta get through. Oh, it's better doing it tiny, I guess. Uh, and then there's that guy. Oh, okay. So yeah, just a filler level. I didn't really. I I, did, I really didn't like this level that much. It just I was like, eh, you know, I kind of needed to make these levels to get all the parts, because I had a I had, had this really cool idea that I wanted to make, and I couldn't make it until I had all the parts, and so I just kind of made these levels because you know, just to get through. This one I don't. I kind of like. <laughs> Giants in the sky. So, you go through, and... Oh, there's a Koopa. Well. And then... A bigger Koopa. You know. So, you got a mushroom. I actually did something nice. And boom. You got a blooper. Trailed by tiny bloopers. The blooper's also flying. So, here, you got a big jump. There's that little problem coming out of that. You gotta make a leap of faith. And if you actually miss it, then there's this guy here that you can bounce off of. In case you fall, and, like, maybe you barely miss... Oh, yeah. There's a lag at you throwing those prana plants that shoot at you. I was slightly sadistic. Lakitu is throwing those prana plants, the ones that shoot fire at you, which is oh, slightly sadistic. But you know, let's let's not, let's go. Pa okay, yeah, that's why you don't want to do that. And so if you go up here, you can see he's throwing down these guys. You can get a fire flower though, so it's probably worth it. Kill this guy, or maybe not. And so okay. Great. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. But yeah, yeah, so okay. I shall demonstrate a key part of this level, which is the fact that you'll be like, oh, you'll be on this part, and you'll be like, oh, it's really oddly straight. Except for this guy throwing at you. And then boom, bloopers falling from the sky. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a really short level, actually. Like, really short. I don't know. The blooper thing was like a last minute addition. I don't know. I thought I just needed something. So I did that. I don't know. I think once again, this was like a filler level. So yeah, you get past here. You got these guys. Oh crap. Oh, okay. And then you got this. It isn't really that much of an obstacle. But yeah, they're jumping at you. A stack of them jumping at you. So we have giants in the sky. Now we get on to more interesting levels. So this is the idea that I was talking about. I had this idea from like the very beginning. I was like, this would be a cool idea. So, I made it. It's called Battle Arena. <coughs> I believe that this so far this is my most popular level. It's gotten the most likes and all that. So, it's a battle arena. Battle. So, you walk in and ba it's basically like, you know, a gladiatorial-esque arena. Where it's like you fight an opponent and go on to the next and on to the next, you know. Like, uh, tournament-based, right? Your first opponent. Fight! Oh, phew. Yeah, you know. Right? And then there's your second opponent. Oh. It's a Koopa. You know, it just increasingly gets harder. I thought it was, like, a little cute idea. And so now, oh, you have tag team of a paratroopa and para... Okay. Let's... That never happened. Anyways. Yeah. Opponent one. Uh, Koopa. Most people just run through it. I don't know why. They, they, that's not what you're supposed to do. And they just ruin it. They ruin it for everyone. Okay. 
But these guys kind of mess up a little bit, but just like, let's just ignore that. You gotta go, kind of wait it out. And maybe kill them. They do kind of, they're not exactly supposed to do that, but, you know, that's besides the point. <coughs> so yeah, we got some big Goombas that pop into little ones. Anyways. I do give some items throughout the course. Some Buzzy Beetles. No. Oh, crap. Uh. I didn't mean to do Okay, some bombs. This one just flies through. Which isn't intentional. But. You can just. Okay. I can get past. Uh. It might not be the best place to be, actually. And. Oh, some moles. Make sure I don't get hit by that. Oh. Alright. A big mole. Some spinies. Some bloopers. Just jump on him. Got a big piranha plant. If you didn't have the fire flower, that'd be hard. Oh, and some hammer bros on top of a sumer bro. And some fire. Ominous fire. Oh, crap. Right. And you go here. And see there? There's some bricks. They're kind of a warning because of the swamps there. Kind of. And then it's like, oh, because, you know, that's like a trap, I guess. I don't know. I gave, like, a little warning. And then here, I just went all out. Flaming fish. Bowser shooting fire. Fire bars. You gotta, you're supposed to jump on this. You're not supposed to use the invincibility frames to run through him, but you can, which kind of breaks it, I guess. But yeah, the level wasn't necessarily hard, but I just thought the idea was pretty cool. I just really like that idea of just like having like a little tournament-based kind of arena, you know. So this one, this one is quite interesting. I recreated the Explodatorium from Shovel Knight, Plague Knight stage, from Shovel Knight in Mario Maker. I actually did this for the release of uh, Plague of Shadows. As you can see, bottom left, there's the... Yeah, that's a car. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So there's like the little date that I made this level, published it, which was uh, September 15th. Which is like, I don't know, the day before Plague of Shadows released. Anyways. This, this level took a lot of time to make. So you can put like a little side-by-side -side comparison, whatever, you know, whatever you want. So yeah, this is the beginning of the level, and then these are like the little fire things. In the actual game, you walk over them, and then they set fire behind you. So instead, yeah, the coins represent the gems, then you go down. You're supposed to fall down, but I use the pipe instead. You come down, there's still a level more of these things. And then this guy, these little beetle guys, uh, probably should hurry. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go into editing mode, honestly, just to elaborate on the level itself <coughs> so as you can see you got that part as i said earlier you can put a little side by side comparison to you know see how accurate it is and honestly i think it's actually quite accurate for a mario maker level you know so there, these blocks are like the little destructible blocks that you can break open with your shovel in the game but which you don't have to show. these little coin block coin patches are supposed to represent like the little what trenches of dirt that you can dig up to get money and so you can pick up this okay you can pick up the bombs because in the actual game there's a little secret over there and in this game there's a secret too see a little secret and then you can get it an item and these these are uh, pair uh, whatever it is spinies flying spinies i don't <coughs> whatever spinies the fly they're like the really annoying eagle things that fly over you and drop like potions vats of whatever man go on you know, got some coins in this part like you know like got like the elevators that go up and down oh they get that part actually okay some bombs the bombs are the explosive green mice that kind of jump at you well, this part that goes up and down and then here this is supposed to be a little checkpoint you know the checkpoints are like little glass orbs i don't know so this part you actually have to use the bombs to break open a path similar to the game I guess because you have to blow up the wall but it kind of blows up itself I can wait for one uh, let's see I get it no there's an item in there and I want it uh, this isn't okay <gasps> ah, oh crap uh, this isn't ideal I've got to admit really no can I throw it up? No, I can't. Well, whatever. <coughs> well, 
Let's just get through this. So, I mean, I'm in editing mode anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's a little item up there. And then that guy is like the little Plague Knight minion who throws things in arc similarly to a hammer bro. And then here, this part was kind of hard to recreate. The springs represent those little things that, those like little, what? Cauldrons that sort of boost you up, you know? And then the spikes are like, well, the spikes. And then some of the cauldrons have spikes above them, and that's what I did with with these spikes here. You know. Oh, wow. Okay, that was really inconveniently placed. Alright. Get through. You know, in this part, yeah, but there's like this huge fat of gall cauldrons and the spikes above you, and it's like really challenging because like they move up automatically, but these are just springs, so I guess it's not as hard. Up here. And then you can actually get a little item over here. I kind of recreated the shapes of the breakable little blocks that you could hit. This is the spider thing that shot upwards, similar to the hammer bro. Well, I mean, it isn't hammer bro, like, similarly to the Plague Knight minions or whatever. You go down here. And this part, there, I believe it's like a checkpoint here. And you can actually break this wall or go above. Doesn't really matter. Both work just fine. There's more of these. And this part, there's like a little scroll above you, which you can actually get like that instead of using the original way you get a little mushroom and a one up in case you're in 100 mario challenge or something so you got this guy another one of those minions okay that worked well no all right checkpoint and this is a little mini boss it's like the little wizard guy who becomes a giant <laughs> i just kind of made it like a giant thing on a wizard you know because that makes sense i guess you know because he was a wizard and he became a giant beast thing Whatever. It's not as hard, but what else could I have done? Anyways, little fire flower. It's an item. In case you need it. I was very lenient on items. Uh, once again, I made this before the checkpoints update. So, I didn't actually put actual checkpoints. These little vines represent uh, the vines that you can climb. The ladders, I guess. I don't remember what the dry bones is. He's like, what? Those, like, uh, armored guys. Because, you know. Ivans are armored, I guess. Squirt. The level itself, honestly, isn't that great. Like, my recreation of it. Honestly, I think when you take into consideration that this is a full-fledged, like, level from Shovel Knight, then, I mean, honestly, I, 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 I'm i pretty proud of it. Like, the whole recreation, mostly just for... Like, not really for the fact that it's a, you know, fun, like, level to play in this game recreation of it because like it's really not that hard it's much harder in the actual game because you know it's the actual game and this thing. but honestly for a recreation i think this is pretty good in my own standards because i'm the one that made it but that's besides the point i got these i had to kind of take parts out so that you actually could get through without having to break it got little patches little patch here these blessed beetles above and the fire bar representing that thing that sort of spin what was it wasn't there a spider there i think there was oh yeah and so i put a hammer bro in there but it started throwing at you while you were like down there in the ladder section and it was really annoying so i took that out go through here and this is the checkpoint room before the boss before you fight plague knight so the plague knight room when you go into you in the actual game you walk over to the right and then there's this drop right so you drop down and then there's plague knight oh and you fight him so instead, I did the opposite. So you start from the bottom, right? And here's Plague Knight. Oh, he, like, he kind of hits himself, but that's besides the point. Yeah. Oh. But. Uh, yeah. And then you got to go up. And see, this is a little dip that you got to, like, jump on. In the original game, you'd walk to the right. Okay, can I not? I can't get up. Okay. In the original game, you'd be like, you go from there to here, and you'd be like, oh. And you jump down, and you fight him, but instead you go up. No. Now listen to this. Listen to this. I actually recorded this, like, with the gamepad. Like, five seconds of like, just listen to this. That was like, uh, a little snippet of a, uh, was it, the, the stage clear theme from Shovel Knight? I don't know. I just like put a little snippet of it in because why not? Authenticity. Authenticity. Yay. So yeah, that's the end of the level. Uh, not much else to say. I do have Okay, so that really did take me a long time. I mean, going you can you could imagine 
So, let's see. I have one more level to show. Uh, oh, two, actually. Forgot about this one. <coughs> Skinny Mario Adventures. This one, uh, I after after I unlocked the the skinny mushroom, so you start and you get the skinny Mario mushroom. You automatically get it because like you can unlock it by like I don't remember. That's the last point. So the skinny Mario mushroom actually allows you to jump higher and farther, which I used for this level. So you need it to do the level, which is kind of an experimentational thing, you know, like testing the waters. You know, you got to make these jumps. Ugh. It's like a basic, very basic level, but with the skinny Mario physics, you know. Kind of something interesting I thought I could do. Uh, gotta make a really far jump here. Oh, I missed it. Uh, okay, there's no skinny mushroom there, I guess. So yeah, here, you'd have the skinny mushroom. You'd, you'd make a jump. Actually, can I make that regularly? I probably can't, I don't know. And so yeah, you gotta jump up here. And you can see the pole, but you can't get to it yet. You got underground section. You got another little skinny Mario mushroom, so... <laughs> you go on this little rail thing. All right, we're going. You gotta do these jumps. Oh, All right, jump over it. Here, you just gotta duck. Jumping over it would kill you. You would try to do. You could try to do that. Okay, this part a little bit annoying. All right, there we go. And we make a leap. Another leap. And go down, trust your instincts, and into the pipe. So if you lost the mushroom by this point, then you can't progress because you need to get the full height to go up the pipe. Okay, wait. Uh, there we go. And into the... Yeah, this part's really weird. Just a bunch of springs. Because people used to usually do that with levels. I don't know why. Which is kind of fun, I guess. Just throw springs everywhere. And my final level is a music level. My first music level, it's not great. Not great at all. I ran out of blocks to use, and it was like, eh, messed up. But, you know, I, I, I think it's bad. It's Gangplank Galleon from Donkey Kong Country. So yeah, I little, put a little K rule for Smash thing, because I wanted him in. He didn't get in. That's besides the point. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to play it. You guys can listen. kind of cuts off awkwardly but you know that 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 right there is a recreation of like the final boss from Donkey Kong Country so you got K. Rule right and he's got like his little crown and there's Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong on the pirate ship I don't know that I just I just needed something to fit that spot so I just did that I don't know I thought it was cute So yeah, right there, I actually ran out of what, entities, like Goombas, to use for the note, so kind of had to improvise. But yeah, it wasn't amazing, obviously. But I actually, I don't know, it wasn't that bad. It actually took a really long time, honestly. The music levels are not easy. It's impossible to believe how people are able to make those huge scale ones. Like, seriously, people have made some amazing music levels. Like, really, really amazing music levels. <coughs> so yeah. Uh, I am working on one more at the moment. The Fire Emblem, uh, Together We Ride, Together We Ride theme. I just wrote Fire Emblem theme for Melee because, I mean, obviously, most people recognize the theme from Melee, so, the mo most people recognize it from being from Melee, I don't know, okay, from being from, okay, whatever. So, I haven't finished it. As you can see on the little bottom icon, I've really done not that much, but actually, so, so from what I've done so far, it, I think it sounds pretty good so far. So you can listen to what it sounds like as of right now. It's definitely an improvement. I spent a lot of time just on this beginning portion. Yeah, get a little FE and then like a little sword. So yeah.
Yeah. Those little uh, last three notes were like, this is just me testing out, trying to get this part right, because this part's actually really hard to get right. No, the part was like, right after the beginning, I don't know. That is what I have so far. Uh, you can see that it is like ridiculously complex. I gotta have it at pre precise blocks. Like, oh, if this block isn't here, then this Goomba will escape, and it'll hit this note and mess it up. Um, it's it's really really annoying at times. Just doing something as minor scale is the first like what three seconds of a song. But yeah, I'll play the game over time, and that'll be it. So yeah, that's what I have so far. Uh, I don't know if will I ever finish it. Maybe, maybe not. That's besides the point. Oh yeah, those are my Liar Maker levels so far. They were all really made before uh, any of the updates, like e even before the checkpoint update. I haven't really gotten back into making levels. I think I, th I really want to actually start making levels like. Really go back to the concept, like kind of like Pitch Trials, like was you know stuff like that, actual levels, not just gimmicky stuff like what, the Skinny Mario Adventures. You know, this, really cool. uh, this actually was supposed to be a recreation of like Race from the Finish from Melee. You know, but it didn't really work. I mean, the backgrounds were weird, and it didn't really. I couldn't really. The, I I wanted. It, I thought it'd be a cool idea. It didn't really end up working out. Just the layout of it. You know. But I don't know. So yeah. Uh those are the Mario Maker levels I've made so far. And Yeah, obviously I'll, I'll see you guys with more Mario Maker, which is probably gonna come. We'll probably do some, you know, hundred Mario challenges and all that. And if I do make more levels, which I hope I will, then we'll do another showcase. So yeah.